Today is March 6th, 2011. Tomorrow is match day. Every interview started with the same open-ended question. Tell us about yourself. My name is Chris Nicholas. I'm from St. John's, Newfoundland, Canada. I'm a photographer, amateur filmmaker, and co-owner of Bold Creative. From an education standpoint, I completed my undergrad degree in biochemistry and behavioral neuroscience. After this, I was admitted to Memorial's Faculty of Medicine, and I'm currently completing my fourth and final year of medical school. For those of you that don't know, before you can practice medicine, you have to complete a residency program in a discipline or specialty of your choice. My choice, diagnostic radiology. Applying to a residency is a lot like applying to medical school, except that there is a central system that handles the entire process called CARMS, or the Canadian Residency Matching Service. Every year, over 2,400 students in their final year of study sign up for an account on the CARMS website and then use this online service to create and store residency applications and supporting documents. They can then send the documents to as many programs as they wish to apply to. The next step is waiting to hear back from the programs with whether or not they have been given an interview. After the interviews, applicants must make a rank order list containing their top choice programs in order of preference. The residency programs also make a rank order list of the applicants they interview. It is then up to the CARMS algorithm to match up one applicant to one program based on both parties' preferred rankings. Looking at last year's statistics for just radiology, there were 84 seats available across the country and 145 applicants to the discipline. All 84 spots were filled in the first iteration. So based on this, a little over half of those who applied to radiology were awarded a seat. Of the original 145 applicants, 109 had radiology as the first choice discipline on their rank order list. 11 of these individuals did not match in the first iteration. Since I had no backup discipline, I applied to all 12 English-speaking radiology programs in order to maximize my chances of matching. By early January, I had six confirmed interviews, so I booked my flights and accommodations. This is the story of my CARMS experience. My interview at MUN is in one hour exactly. I think this is the first time I've been ready more than 20 minutes before I have to be somewhere. Wish me luck. The first interview went well. It was broken up into two 20-minute sections, and in total I was interviewed by four staff radiologists and one resident. Although all the questions were read from a standardized list, the atmosphere was pretty laid back. All in all, I felt it went well, and getting the first one out of the way gave me more confidence for the next one. Since the radiology interviews were scheduled geographically from east to west, all the radiology applicants from across Canada essentially moved from city to city as one big group, and you start to recognize people pretty quick. Hello everybody, my name is Alex Omicioli from North Bay, Ontario. I did my medical school at Ottawa. I met this lovely gentleman behind the camera in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland at an interview for uh, diagnostic radiology residency. We're going to be crossing paths a lot, so you'll probably see me back on this video a few times. My flight to Halifax, Nova Scotia was scheduled for later that afternoon. My partner Becky, coincidentally, was already in Halifax for an unrelated event, so she met me there and came along for the rest of the trip to help with the video shooting. Traveling across Canada during January and February almost guarantees that you'll hit bad weather at some point. Last night, I got a phone call from WestJet informing me that my flight at 10 after 6 this morning in St. John's had been cancelled. My flight was rescheduled. Unfortunately, I was probably not as polite as I should have been. I really hope my luggage shows up because that's where my shoes are. Tennis oh, no, shoes. no, no. These are the only things I have. Oh, you got boots. Yeah. Oh, the boots. Yeah, the <laughs> listen, I had no idea listen. what to expect. I figured these would cover I, I, everything. I brought these boots with me. No, it's cool. Everyone here wears boots. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone here that wears shoes is yeah. out. <laughs> Day one of CARMS. Flown into Halifax. We have a social tonight with the radiology residents. Got my Dow interview tomorrow morning at around 8 o'clock, so hopefully that goes well. <laughs> it's a beautiful city here in Halifax. Cold. Still milder than in Ottawa, though. Minus 34. <laughs> well, people in, uh, in Newfoundland are just so friendly. He asked really down to earth questions, so it was really fun. I had a bow tie all set and everything. I thought, nah. <laughs> <laughs> Over and out. Carms 2011. What's up? Oh, this is fun. 
Well, I'm a Mizungu. He's white person. He's white person. He's Swahili. He's white person. 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 He's white we weren't even a day into the trip and already two of my friends had had issues with the weather. My interview at Dalhousie was at 8 a.m. The lasting impression that I got was that the program was very resident-centered and I would definitely be ranking them high on my list. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Dal Halifax, D2, Nova Scotia. It was a wonderful tour. I don't know, had fun today. How about yourself? Uh, it was good, it was good. We had the three interview panels. Yeah, 20 minutes each, a little more, a little less. After they knocked on the door for you, were you in there for a while still? I got up to go ask the door, and they said, oh, no, no, that's just to let us know that if our time's up. Yeah. <laughs> the resident's really nice. Christina and Beth, fantastic. If ever you see this video, <laughs> great interview. Fantastic, I loved it. These are interesting questions that you would only be asked at an interview. <laughs> and you know what, I bet you it's pretty generic. I bet you most people answer the same things, but it'd be interesting Probably. to see. All in all, Halifax was good. It's beautiful. Yeah, spending a couple days here. Yeah. Now. You're, you're flying out now. When's the next time we'll meet up? Because we, we flip flop for Ottawa flip -flop for Ottawa and Kingston. I do Saskatchewan first, then Manitoba. Oh, see, I'm going to flip again, so is this, the this last, might this, be. This, this, this is, is the last time. Bye, everybody. I had a lot of pleasure being in this video. I loved it. I had never thought of being on camera before, but I might <laughs> You're do this natural, man. and start acting. Awesome. No problem, yeah. man. It's been good. Good luck with it. And, and best of luck with everything. Take care. We spent the rest of our time in Halifax with some friends and arrived in Ottawa the next morning. My interview wasn't until the 28th, so we took the time to visit friends and family and see the sights. of the six interviews I had. In total, there were four interviews, each lasting about 20 minutes. Every station had a different theme to their questions. For example, one set of interviewers asked all situation-based hypothetical scenarios just to gauge problem solving or critical thinking skills. All the interviewers were very pleasant though, and I didn't find that anyone was overly intimidating. How was it? It's great, it's nice. Yeah? Yeah, turn it on. My next interview was at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario. There were two groups of interviewers, the first being made up of two staff radiologists and the other being made up of two residents. The interview here was by far the most laid back of the bunch. There wasn't any predetermined list of questions that I could tell and it literally was just having a conversation with the interviewers. Both groups wanted to know more about my photography, my business and generally life outside of medicine. It was really a get-to-know-you sort of interview. Having done an elective here too made the atmosphere all the more relaxed. There was a week between Queens and my next interview in Saskatoon, so instead of coming home and then flying back out west, we decided to spend a time in Toronto even though I didn't get an interview at U of T. We loved the city and got to hang out with friends from the area. It was nice to just relax since the previous week was a huge blur. It was also a great opportunity to reflect a bit on what went on over the past week and just process it all. By now I had four interviews out of the way and I can definitely say that they were getting easier. Before my first interview at Memorial, I was anxious for probably a few days in advance. But by the time Queens rolled around, I really only felt a bit anxious the morning of. 
Residents who I talked to before going through the coroner's process said by the end of their interview period, they really weren't nervous at all. I didn't believe them at the time, but it's totally true. As with most interviews, at the end, they always ask if you have any questions for them. Given that, for the most part, all the programs published a very vague and generic applicant selection criteria, I ask every panel the same question, what is the most important quality you look for in an applicant? The two answers that every group gave were, one, someone they can get along with for five years, and two, someone who will get the work done. This was interesting because there seemed to be a lot of emphasis on the compatible personality bit. I even had a few people go as far as saying that the majority of people they interview are academically capable. It's just that the interview will tell them if they can stand the person for five years. My next interview was at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. The interview itself was fairly standard, two interview panels each about 20 minutes long. There were no surprise questions and everyone was very pleasant. I had completed a radiology elective at this site as well, so I had met all the interviewers before which helped. My last interview was at the University of Manitoba in Winnipeg. We're on interview number six tomorrow now. Almost done, can't wait. It was similar to all the rest, two interview panels, each lasting about 20 minutes. I admit that this being my last interview, I was definitely the least prepared for it. I asked the cab driver on the way to the hospital just for some general info about the city. He told me the population was 250,000, so I weaved that into my interview saying Winnipeg was a nice sized city, not too big, about 250,000 people. The interviewers at this point said, um, no, actually the population is more like 700,000. So lesson learned, always do your fact checks. Manitoba was the last stop of the trip, which brings us to today, March 6, 2011, and tomorrow is match day. To access the results, you'll click here. Yeah. It's loading. I can't remember my username and password. <laughs> Memorial Radiology. Right.